What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to enhance my front porch. This year there is absolutely nothing. That is not normal for me. So I want to take you outside and show you what it looks like right now. Then we are going to head out the door and go plant shopping. I love inspirational shopping. Um, we are going to look at some of the planters that I have done in the past, which I have done some crazy wild ones, um, and just show you sort of what my style is. Um, and then I don't even have planters. I ended up taking, they had ferns in them from last year. I ended up taking them out to the greenhouse and they are on either side of my greenhouse in my backyard. So I no longer have planters at the front door. Um, so I'm going to have to go shopping for those as well, which... Hey, who doesn't love to shop? So let's go take a look right now at the front porch and the current state. And here I give you my front porch, a blank slate, a blank canvas. Normally I have two round planters on either side of the door, um, but I do not have anything right now, as you can see, and I really want to enhance this doorway. It gets a ton of sun. Um, as you can see, it is full sun right now, and that is from morning until night. So full sun, um, something that's going to be able to withstand the heat. So let's go shopping. All right, so as we go on our way to the nursery, I want to show you now some of my prior plants in pots. Um, I tend to go a little over the top. Um, even some of them have been a little jungle-esque. So I wanna show you, I think I have two different examples now of plants that I have done. So let's look at those now. I am in Home Depot and we are going to pick out our planters. All right, call me crazy, but I think I'm going to go with this herb. They are only $10 a piece and I like that they're low because then I can put something really tall in them and they're not going to be overpowering. So they may not look good, but we're going to try them. I got these for the front, in front of my camellia. I like the color. Hmm, here's an idea for the front porch. That might be a little over the top. I like over the top, but that might be pushing it. All right, we are at Lowe's and we are going to first not get hit by a car. And we are going to go ahead and pick out our plants. Let's see what we can find. So I have purple fountain grass, and now I'm thinking about the calabrochia. Um, these would match the plants across the front. And that provides a fantastic contrast. So I think these are the winners. We are back and the planter is incredibly small, but I put a, let me go get it and I'll show you. I think it's going to be okay because what I have as the centerpiece, as the um, thriller is going to get five feet tall. I wanted something really big. Um, so I actually think this is going to work. They look a little out of, out of place right now and they may for just a little bit, but I think we're just gonna try this. All right, I'm gonna go get the plants. just gotten my planters home. As I said, they're a little small, but they were $9, so I cannot beat that deal. I have some um, purple fountain grass. Purple fountain grass gets about five feet tall, which is as tall as me. So, if you imagine me, which the camera angle will not 
but you see, but about where my neck is, is how tall this is going to be. So this is actually perfect for this container. Um, and then what I figured I would do is I have these Proven Winners Super Bells Black Current Punch Calabrochia. And these match my um, Super Vista Jazzberry um, Petunias across the front. So I liked that color. Plus, I feel like they're a great contrast with the plum colored, um, the blades of the grass. And I have some sedum. This is lemon coral sedum. So I have my thriller and I really don't have a filler, but that's okay. I want this to make a big, bold statement so you can sort of see the colors. These are going to pop. The grasses may get a little lost in the stone color because I have plums and grays and browns in my stone, but I'm all about making a big statement. And I feel like these grasses are actually going to make that big statement. So I am going to go ahead and fill the planter with my miracle Grow planter soil, and then uh, we will get started planting. You know what? No drainage. So I, I, I need to go drill some drainage holes. Huh, glad I caught that. That's crazy. Okay, I'll be right back. As you can see, I have drilled holes in the bottom, put four and now I will go ahead and add the soil. This is a great buy. Probably added too much soil. You don't want to add too much soil to a pot. Uh, you want to leave room for your plants and then fill in around, which is what I just did. I'm going to put my centerpiece, my focal point, dead center. I'm not going to set it toward the back because it's going to need some room to expand and get big. Um, so I'm putting it dead center. This is the purple fountain grass. In my area, these can be perennials. They come back year after year. They thrive in the winter time, actually crazy. All right, so that's in nicely. And okay. I'm going to add my super bells sort of like this on the sides because they are going to get very big and fill over spill over, fill over, and I'm going to have my sedum in the middle. I don't want to put them too close together because I'm afraid the um, calabrochia is going to take over the sedum. So I'm probably going to have to prune this to keep that from happening or pull the blooms backwards. Um, I am not putting anything in the back because that is against my house. Um, and I just don't feel like, I feel like that would be a waste. So I am mainly focusing on the front half, which is midway forward. Got my thriller, which is this, and then I've got my two spillers. Not normal, but it's okay. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and plant our um, super bills. Oh, look at that. It's not rooted in well. Mm. That makes me sad. So this plant is going to really struggle because this is just the plug. Um, they're both like this. So I just paid $6 for a plug. Not good. All right, well, that's okay. Still gonna plant all of the soil with it. Just gonna have to really baby it, make sure that it 
has plenty of water, plenty of fertilizer. This is beautiful. These are nicely rooted in. doing this upside down. <laughs> What do you think? Do you like my color combination? I really like it. All right, let's put it in its spot and see how it looks. Here is a close up of our planter. What do you think? This is going to be incredible. So I love how the chartreuse color of the sedum picks up the light green color of the grass. And then I love how the center of the super bells is picking up sort of that plum color is picking up the leaves of the purple in the grass. I love this combination. And here we have the finished product, our planters. Next up, I need to find a cute doormat. As it relates to scale, it is way off. Um, it's a lot smaller than they should be. However, I am okay with that because, as I said, the grasses will take over and it's actually going to be very pretty. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear. All right, I think that wraps up this video. I am sweating so bad. Here in North Carolina, the humidity is, oh God, it's about 100 today. The whole bottom of my hair is soaking wet and it's not even that hot yet. Um, humidity is something else. The air feels so thick, like, like water almost. It is, ugh. Anyway, I'm not complaining because it's nice outside, yay. Anyway, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video on planters. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I hope you will consider subscribing and coming back to future videos and all the other videos that I have. I would love to hear from you and I hope you have a chance to get your hands dirty like I did today and play in the soil. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.